NHS workers want to improve the quality of care that they provide to their patients. And I think what QI does is it provides a methodology, it provides a way of thinking and going about doing that. It's empowered our staff to make changes, it's shown them how to involve service users in their care in a different way, and has really sort of fundamentally changed the culture of the organisation. We engage staff in, in a very specific sort of way. Um, they're asked to come up with the ideas for change, uh, and then they uh, do short, small cycles of um, experimentation. They make a small change, see if that makes a difference. And that way, um, the change is developed as a model. And then when we're certain that it sort of works in one area, we start to think about how we can spread it out to other areas in the organisation. What sets QI apart is that we haven't got an externally imported methodology and, and agents that help us, but it's actually the organisation that delivers the QI. For um, us as an organisation, one of the things that we wanted to focus on was safety. Uh, so uh, the most common patient safety incident is violence and aggression. So that's one of the areas that we focused on uh, as part of the work that we were doing. Um, and then right care, patients receiving the right care in the right place at the right time. So access to services, improving access for our patients uh, and improving physical health care for uh, patients with severe mental illness. Because we know that patients with severe mental illness die about 20 years on average earlier uh, than someone in the general population. I have to be honest, I was quite cynical about it before I got involved in it and thought oh it's another one of those initiatives that all sounds very full of jargon and so on but since I've started I'm absolutely hooked on it and already I can see huge potential to it. Well for instance in one of the services that I work in we've been uh, having a QI project that's looking at the time it takes from receiving a referral to them getting a, a first assessment. And by looking at the different stages involved in, the, in the, the process, we've been able to bring the waiting time down by you know, significant numbers of weeks. That in turn has led to a better service for patients. We know that if patients come to us sooner, they're more likely to engage with our services, so it all has positive knock-on effects in the longer term too. Quite often a more efficient service will be a lower cost service. So. Um, where um, quality improvement projects have um, helped to identify efficiencies in uh, patient pathways or processes, um, we've been able to try and cost the, the economic benefit of that, um, which obviously helps us towards our um, cost reduction programmes. Our morale of our staff has improved significantly. Our staff feel really engaged. We've got the highest score uh, in the staff survey last year for engagement of staff. And actually, the staff working with the patients actually did make a real difference. So violence and aggression in our organisation has gone down by about 53% of wards. And that makes wards a much more happy place to be, more comfortable place for patients to be, and a, a place where you can really sort of improve and get better. But also we've noticed that sickness rates come down when there's less violence and aggression on the wards. It's a, it's a nicer place to be. I think it's making a, a big difference. I think staff, we, we feel involved in, in decision making and uh, salute, coming up with the solutions for things that need doing rather than being told from on high. Also in the outpatient services where we're looking at right care, right time, right place, we're able to demonstrate improvements in our access and in our engagement of service users which in turn has, has positive knock-on effects all around. I think it really encourages ideas to come from the ground up and encourages people to come up with new ideas and to be creative. More and more people in the Trust are signing up to it, joining in, and I think that's what's going to make a difference, is it will become, hopefully, the culture of the organisation. It's a lot of work. I'm not pretending that it isn't. But actually, our experience is that once it builds momentum, it really does make a difference.